So about a month ago, I posted a video on Jam software that a lot of people seem to find interesting. There wasn't a good solution, however, on how to do remote rehearsing without having too much technical difficulties. A software that seemed to work great with one person seemed to cause brain aneurysms with the other person. My name is Sander Visser, and in this video you will learn how to do online rehearsals with your band or music group in real time on a private server using Jamulus. So this video took me a lot longer to make than I expected. Even though the social distancing rules in my country are already getting looser by the day, this video could still be really interesting for you if you want to learn how to use Jamulus. Enjoy! If you're looking for the short version of the video, Wired Internet, connect your gear, open UDP port 2214, download and install Jamulus, open Jamulus, open Jamulus server, connect to the right server. If that went too quickly, stay tuned. This video will show you what equipment you need, how to connect everything to the computer, what to do with the network settings, how to run a private server and how your buddies can connect to it. There's timestamps in the description, so if you're just here for the network and server settings, you can skip ahead. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about my videos. Leave a comment below on things you'd like to see me do or explain in a future video. So on my previous video, there were a lot of comments about people who were suggesting other types of jam software. I haven't had the time to check them out or the urge to check them out, but if you want to see a full list of them and check them out for yourself, here's a list. I've had quite some comments of people who had a lot of frustration with getting the software working. In this video, I hope to alleviate a bit of those frustrations. And even if you're not that handy with computers, this video will show you step by step how everything works. So first, Here's some gear that you need in order for everything to work smoothly. Some of it you might already have, and it doesn't need to be expensive, but they are really essential. This gear is a computer, a pair of headphones, an internet cable, and an ethernet adapter, an audio interface, microphone, and your instrument, and the cables connecting your microphone and instrument. So the PC needs to be running one of these operating systems. I haven't tried if all the versions work, but you can always try. Next up, you need a pair of headphones to listen to yourself and your buddies. You can muse about anything with a regular headphone jack connection. Laptop speakers, AirPods and other wireless headphones however are not an option. I've put a link for cheap headphones in the description. You need a wired connection. This is important. Wi-Fi doesn't work for this. You need a physical internet cable going into the computer. If your laptop doesn't have a UTP internet cable connection, no worries because you can use a USB Ethernet adapter. You can grab one of these on Amazon or other websites for a couple of bucks. A link is in the description as well. Next up, you need an audio interface. An audio interface lets you connect your instruments or microphone to your computer. They can be bought new or second hand starting at 30 euros and I've put a link in the description for one I can recommend. I advise you to get an interface with at least two inputs. Well, next up, you need a microphone, your instrument and the correct jack and XLR cables. If you want to use more than one instrument or one microphone at the same time, I'd suggest to buy either a bigger interface or use a mixer to connect all the instruments and connect the mixer to the interface. Furthermore, a mic stand can be useful and if you're a guitar or bass player, a multi-effects unit or a guitar or bass amp with a headphone out can be useful as well because they often have some kind of amp simulation. I'll talk about this more later on in the video. Next up, we're going to connect everything to the computer. This is really easy. We'll start with the internet. Grab an internet cable. Connect it to one of the Ethernet ports on your router or modem. Run the internet cable all the way to your computer. Connect the cable to the adapter if necessary and connect it to the computer. Next up is the audio. audio. Grab your audio interface and connect it to the computer. Connect your mic to the interface using an XLR cable. Next, connect your instrument and don't forget the headphones. Make sure you have installed the latest drivers of your interface which you can find on the website of the manufacturer. Now is the time for the third part. 
The third part is actually the tricky part. We're going to add in some settings in order to set up a private server in the next step. We're going to set up UDP port forwarding in the router's settings. If you don't understand what that means, no worries, we'll do it step by step so you don't get lost. First, we'll need to figure out several IP addresses to get port forwarding working correctly. Let's start with what IP addresses are and where to find them. An IP address is sort of a house address for your devices. Just like your house has an address so the post office knows where to ship your letter to, your devices like your phone, your laptop and your router, they all have IP addresses in order for the data to reach the correct device. It's how data like websites and everything knows on what device to appear. Your laptop has a public or external IP address and an internal or private IP address. We need to find the local IP address of your laptop, the local IP address of your router and your public IP address. To find the local IP address of your computer, on Windows go to Settings, Network and Internet, Ethernet, scroll down to Properties and it'll look like this. Copy this to a notepad. On macOS, go to System Preferences and then Network and you'll find the local IP here. Copy this to a note. The third IP address, the public one, is the easiest to find. Just type what is my IP address in Google and it'll pop up. Now you have collected the three IP addresses, it's time to set up port forwarding. First a little bit about port forwarding. You can think of ports as office mailboxes on a router. There's thousands of mailboxes each with a different number. Specific numbers are used for specific things. Regular internet goes through port 80, while Outlook email could go to port 25. Jamless uses its own port as well, which is 22124. When we set up port forwarding, the data or the audio from your bandmates gets sent to the correct mailbox on your router and then gets delivered to your computer. First, we're going to access the router. This step will probably look different with you because different brands of routers have different interfaces. A word of advice, when you're in your router settings, don't just click on random stuff. This could give you issues, which I'm not gonna fix. Enter the local IP address of your router in your browser and log on to the router. If you're not sure about the login details, you could always check the website of your ISP. Next, we're gonna look in the settings for something called port forwarding or IPv4 port forwarding. On my router is located under settings. We have to create a new forwarder item for Jamulus. I have to configure a new app under service. Let's call it Jamulus. Select the UDP protocol. TCP doesn't work with Jamulus. Next, enter the port number, which is 22124. Save and go back to creating a new item. Select a newly created Jamulus and enter the local IP of your computer. Save the settings and you have set up port forwarding. Sometimes when you cannot find port forwarding, just Google the brand of your router and the series of your router with port forwarding and it could help you out. Other people have asked the same questions on forums probably already. There's a link in the description as well of an extensive article that explains you how to set everything up with Jamulus. It's time for a small break. Grab a cup of coffee or a beer and hit play when you're ready. In a world where a pandemic virus has drifted us all into isolation. A faint memory of a last human interaction slowly fading away. When all hope for normal band practice is gone, faith lies in the hands of one man. One man saving us all from latency and disconnecting. private server stay connected stay sane jamulus
So in this part of the video, I will finally show you how to set up Jamulus in the private server. You can download Jamulus on SourceForge or on their website, which leads to SourceForge. It automatically installs the latest version of Jamulus. What I'm showing you here is how to install Jamulus on a MacBook. On a Windows computer, it's practically the same. First, we need to run Jamulus. Next up, we're going to run our private server. You need to do it in this order or the Jamulus client supposedly doesn't work. For macOS, there is an app included for the server, but I like opening it using a terminal. You need to copy and paste the following command in the terminal. This command is telling the terminal to open up Jamulus, which is located in this file path. Hyphen S is to open Jamulus server, hyphen P is to select the correct port, and hyphen W is to select the welcome text. If you want to record, add hyphen capital R to the command. This will record the audio in a reaper format up until the last person leaves the server. Make sure to uncheck the make my server public box unless you want to start a public server. Next up we get back to our Jamulus client because it's time to connect ourselves to our own private server. Hit connect and type the following at server name slash address. Congratulations, you're now connected to your own private server. You can see this as well on the Jamulus server app. It's now time to run the server on Windows. After you've installed Jamulus on Windows, you need to copy the Jamulus shortcut. Right click the copy and has the properties. Add the following to the target. Hyphen S to start a server, hyphen P to select a port and hyphen W to select a welcome message. Next, change the file name in the general tab so you have a distinction between the server and the client. Don't forget to first run the client and then run the private server. Connecting yourself to your own private server is the same as on macOS. Now is the time for your band members to join the private server. Make sure they have a wired connection and that they've downloaded the latest version of Jamulus. After you've connected everything to the computer, open up Jamulus. You need to connect to the public IP address of the person hosting the private server. In this case, this is my IP address, so my bandmates need to connect to this IP address followed by a colon and the correct port. If everything went well, you should be able to hear each other without latency. If not everything went well, it could be because of tons of reasons. I'd suggest just to Google your symptoms and let the forum doctors help you out. So here's some last notes and thoughts about this process. It might not work in one try, so be patient and try it again. Your public IP address may change once in a while, so make sure that the IP address you're using is still the correct one. For acoustic drummers, I'd suggest to set up a mic in a room and one mic as a talkback microphone. There's a lot of ways to record your drum kit, but I'd suggest to just keep it simple. For guitar and bass players, getting a nice tone directly from your interface can be quite a challenge. Routing the guitar through an amp or a cap simulator, through a multi-effects unit, or through the headphone out of a guitar amplifier could help out with your sound. I connect my guitar through the input and connect the amp to the interface using the headphones out. You can also set up a microphone in front of your amp. You could be able to route your sound through a VST plugin somewhere, but I like to keep things a bit simpler than that. There's a lot of information about the program online, but you have to look for it. If you have any issues with setting stuff up, I suggest to just look online. I've posted some links that can help you out in the description. I know that there are different ways to get Jamulus working on your computer. I just hope that this video gives you a good starting point to get everything working. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this useful, remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you next time.